Hello everyone! This lesson is about edible moss. In this lesson, we will show you how easy this decor is to make. A set of products for such a sponge cake is very easy to find. The whole process takes just 5 minutes and the result is very impressive. Edible moss can be made of any color depending on the theme of your cake. Green shades for fairy tale and forest themed cakes. Yellow and red moss perfectly imitates sea sponges and corals, and purple and blue are suitable for mystical fantasy themes. However, as you can see, we mainly use green moss on our cakes. It is the most versatile. Now let's get started. You will need a bowl, strainer, silicone spatula, scissors, glucose or corn syrup, two eggs, sugar, flour, baking powder, disposable heat resistant cups, food colors. In this video, we used water-based food colors by the brand AmeriColor. We used the following colors, avocado, forest green, and sangria, and a hand mixer. First, beat two room temperature eggs together with sugar and food color. Do this at maximum speed for about a minute until the sugar dissolves and a fluffy foam appears. It's better to add food color at this stage and then, if necessary, add more. In order for the moss to come out the desired shade, it's essential to know some important nuances. Choose high quality food color. It is more likely to maintain its color during heat processing and add it gradually. This will make it easier to achieve the desired result and to adjust the shade from light and soft to deep and rich. Now let's move on to the next stage. Add the glucose syrup to the sugar and egg mixture and beat at maximum speed for about two minutes. The mixture should increase significantly in size to about twice its initial volume. See whether the color suits you and add more food color if necessary. Now mix the baking powder in with the flour and sift through a sieve into this mixture. Mix carefully with circular movements from the surface to the bottom so as not to disturb the airiness of the dough. Keep mixing until it's smooth and pour it out into cups. Since the dough rises very well, fill the cups only by a third so that the moss comes out airy and does not flow out of the cup. Put the cups with the dough into the microwave and turn it on full power. It is important to note that the power and technical characteristics of microwaves are different, so the baking time may vary from 1 minute to 2 minutes. First, put the cups in for 1 minute. Then take one out to check if the surface of the moss is still moist. If it is, put them in for another 15 to 20 seconds. Repeat this until the surface is completely dry. Take out the cups and leave them to cool on an oven grill bottom up. This is necessary so that the sugar in the sponge cake hardens as it cools and conserves the lush form of the moss. Sometimes the dough in the cup heavily deflates. Most often this happens because the cup was taken out ahead of time. Keep in mind the size and the number of your cups. In large cups, moss takes a little longer to bake since there is more dough. Also try experimenting with the number of cups baking simultaneously. The less there are in the microwave, the better the result. When the moss has cooled, cut the cups apart with scissors and remove them. Look how fluffy, soft, and spongy the moss is. Now it is finally ready for use. Break it up into pieces of the desired size and decorate your dessert. 
Since moss dries quite quickly, it is better to store the finished product in the refrigerator in an airtight bag or in the cup itself upside down. And you can also put it in the freezer for a couple of months and use when needed. We used edible moss in the decoration of our forest nymph cake. We filmed a very interesting and detailed course about this cake where we explain how to properly cover the cake with sugar paste, paint on the cake even if you don't have any drawing experience, and how to make branches with waffle leaves. You can find information about this course in the link below. We are always happy to receive your likes and comments. They give us new energy to shoot new videos. See you next time!